Um, so how would you advise people to go about picking the best material for their auditions? I think they've got to realise um, they've got to be the casting director. They've got to pick material that is of the right age group. Um, not necessarily, um, there's always talk about accents. Should I use something with an, uh, an accent? I think it's probably best that you don't. Yeah. Uh, it puts more pressure um, with, with the audition because you're already nervous mm. and then having to think about is my accent okay um you may forget and the panel may expect that to hear an accent if it's a specific uh, monologue or song yeah. that you're presenting to them yeah uh, i i mean i think there's some really interesting things about um if we're going to talk about monologues, I mean, we can talk about music as well, mm -hmm. but let's just quickly talk about monologues. Um, you've got to sell yourself. You've got to know who you are and you've got to make it work for you because yeah. when you walk into the audition, you need to connect with them through this person that you're speaking. So it needs to be somebody that you really are familiar with and comfortable with. A word of warning would be don't ever use audition pieces about auditions. Right. You know, when I was at the audition, I spoke with a very bad accent and I did this imitation of. Nobody wants to see somebody doing an imitation of somebody doing an imitation of. They want to see the person in the moment. And I know that sounds a hackneyed phrase, but living in the moment, being real. That's really, really important. And actually, I would say that one other thing to really, really think about is never do a speech that's about memory, where you mm -hmm. are remembering your father's death or the opening of Three Sisters or anything that evokes that sort of, um, it, I don't know, emotional sort of background. It, yeah. it, it, just doesn't work in an audition it takes you to the wrong place and it's too difficult to do don't ever make um, difficult choices for an audition the audition should be a romp you know should be really fun yeah the more comfortable you are with the piece the more you're going to be able to show how you take direction well yep. and how they and can not work frightened with you. of taking yeah. direction yeah it's a mini performance because they want to see what the what we're going to get all the institutions going to get at the end of the three or four years of yeah. training. And I suppose the, the, the other thing about it is that um, you need to be very inventive and it needs to be your work that you show. Don't show your drama teacher's work. Don't show, you know, the fact that you did something in a school show. Be really inventive so that when somebody on the panel says, I'd like you to do it like this, you're not saying why, because that's the problem when people start questioning why they're being asked to do something. You know, for some institutions that might be fine, but for others it's not. And you need to know what type of institution that you're actually auditioning for.